all right guys welcome to the youtube channel so we have a question that says copper has an atomic radius of 0 0.12 newton meter an fcc crystal structure and an atomic weight of 63.5 gram per mole compute its theoretical density and compare the answer with its measured density first of all we need to know how to derive our theoretical density which is number of atoms times atomic weight over avogadro's number times the volume of initial so looking at this question we have to first of all underline copper underline atomic radius fcc structure they were given atomic weight of 63.5 we are told to find two things the theoretical density and compare with the measured density of copper so the formula for theoretical density is number of atoms times atomic weight over avogadro's number times volume of unit cell so as you can see the number of atoms for fcc is equal to four atoms there's a video in which we learned how to solve that. You can go back and watch it. Then Avogadro's constant is equal to, we all know that to be 6.023 times 10 raised to the power 23 atom per mole. Then our atomic weight is equal to 63, is equal to 63.5 gram per mole. So therefore we are giving our radius to be 0.128. 0.128 nanometer which is equal to 0.128 times 10 raised to the power minus 9 this is minus 9 meter we can go ahead and say this is 0.128 times 10 raised to the power minus 7 centimeter so the lattice parameter a for fcc is equal to 2 root 2 r given our r we say is equal to 2 root 2 times 0 0.128 times 10 raised to the power minus 7 centimeter then we know that the volume of a unit cell is equal to a cube so therefore volume of this unit cell is equal to big brackets 2 roots sorry 2 roots 2 2 roots sorry sorry 2 roots 2 times 0 0.128 times 10 raised to the power minus 7 close the bracket cube is SINE becomes centimeter cube because it is volume of a unit cell right if it was area it would be centimeter square for volume is a cube so it becomes centimeter cube then our VC will be 4.74 times 10 raised to the power minus 23 centimeter cube now we can go ahead and solve for our theoretical density so therefore our theoretical density is equal to number of atom 4 times our atomic weight which is 63.5 63.5 gram per mole over our Avogadro's constant which is 0 6.023 6.023 times 10 raised to the power 23 atom per mole times our volume of unit cell which is 4.74 times 4.74 times 10 raised to the power minus 23 Therefore, our theoretical density will be equal to 8.89 8.89 gram per centimeter cube. So the second question says we should compare them. So for comparison, to get our percentage difference between the two, we say the measured density for copper is 8.96 gram per centimeter cube. So to get our percentage difference, to get our percentage difference, we say measured density of copper minus theoretical density of copper over measured density of copper times 100 in which is going to be equal to 8.96 times 8.89 over 8.96 times 100 and if we solve ahead the percentage difference is equal to 0.7 8 to percentage 
we can go ahead and say the theoretical density of copper is approximately 0.782 percent less than its measured density this small difference indicates that the theoretical calculation closely matched the actual measured value all right guys make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel bye and peace out